Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Raina Tees. So in this video, I wanted to talk about these Christians and them using these scare tactics, using their Bible as a weapon against witches and people who are non-Christians and people who don't subscribe to Christian ideology and the Christian lifestyle, okay? So I just wanna tell you Christians one thing real quick. You can never use your Bible as a weapon against me, okay? Or any witches on this earth or anybody in the LGBT community or anybody who is non-Christian, okay? I do not subscribe to your book. I do not subscribe to your mythology. Christians, you are children in these spiritual streets, okay? Your religion is, what, 2,000 years old? Islam is not even 2,000 years old, and... uh Judaism, I don't know how old, you know, I think she's like older. She's the, the she's the grandma of the three. But what I believe in, the entities that I work with, the spirits and forces that I work with have been in this universe for billions of years, older than your book. older than your concepts and your ideology. The forces that I work with are primeval. They are primal to this universe, to this galaxy, to this solar system, and to this planet. The entities that I work with, the entities that I call upon, the entities that I believe in, are the same ones that the ancestors believed in, the first humans that roamed this earth and listened to the wind and listened to the thunder and to the streams and to the, to the, to the leaves in the wind That is what I believe in, is those entities. When humanity was, was innocent, when humanity was pure, just crawling out the goddamn cave, or just standing up, learning to stand up and walk for the first time, when they were curious about the earth, when they were developing their brains and, and becoming what we are now, what they believed in, that's what I believe in. When they carved those statues of those entities, that's what I believe in. I'd rather believe in that than a 2,000 year old religion from a fucking book that was written by men. You can never use that book to assault me. You can never use that book to threaten me with your hell and your damnation. I am not cut from your cloth. I was born into this world different. Since I was a child, Christianity never sat well with me. It just never came in, it wasn't like a lock and a key, it just did not open the door. When Christianity tried to open the door into my brain, it just said, no, the, the key did not work. I rejected Christianity as a child, instinctfully, it was rejected. And I'm so glad that my parents were not very forceful at all when it came to religion, at all. Compared to other people my parents were, yeah, it wasn't really a factor in the house. And that gave me the freedom 
to follow my heart and to follow what came to me. Everything worked out just how it needed to. So yes, Christianity never put its latch on me. Even though subconsciously it has affected everyone. Christianity has affected everyone or almost everyone, especially the society, this Christian-based society. How could I follow this religion? How could I believe in your book? I'm not ignorant. I have learned the truth. I know what you did to my people. I know that you captured my people in the name of that fucking book and in the name of your fucking Jesus, you captured my people and you enslaved them for 500 years under that fucking book. You broke my people under that fucking book. You took that book and you scrubbed their brains clean of who they were. You destroyed, or you attempted to destroy my people with that book and subjugate them into submission with that book to worship you, to idolize you, and to look to you for guidance and approval. You have that book, you and that book, you Christians, and that book have done irreparable damage to this earth. All three Abrahamic religions have done irreversible damage to this earth and to humanity the crimes against humanity that have been done in the name of that book. There are no words. And only the Akashic records know the individual pain and torture and death of every single human being. Not only did you do these horrific things to the people who you have enslaved, but you also did this to your own. You did this in Europe. Europeans were the first victims of Christianity. So this religion is based on fear and forced conversions, forced indoctrinations. And we all know that the stories of the Bible are regurgitated pagan stories. Why would I follow a duplicate or a knockoff of the original? I rather believe in the original than the knockoff. And what's so funny is that you can tell this to Christians, you can tell them the facts, and they will still completely ignore it. It'll go in one ear and out the other. There is no convincing these people. So I tell you, witches and the LGBT people and anybody else who is not Christian, just ignore these people and walk away from them, do not engage in conversation or debates or arguments with Christians, okay? And you know what's so funny to me? My spirituality, magic, witchcraft, the occult, whatever you wanna call it, has not caused the amount of pain death, and suffering that Christianity and the Bible and the Abrahamic religions have caused and have done. Okay? 
witchcraft and magic has not killed hundreds of millions of people and enslaved people the way that Christianity and the Bible has. So how can Christianity be seen as a religion of love and light and positivity when it is drenched in blood? The blood of hundreds of millions of people all over the earth. And yet you want to paint my spirituality as evil and judge me? Really, girl? That's what you want to do, bitch? Well, guess what? I'm not fucking having it. So you can take your fucking Bible and shove it up your fuck hole. So that's pretty much everything I think. Um, yeah, so thanks you guys for listening and I will see you on the next one.